you're actually hitting up on your irons. So everything's really thin, I noticed out there. So, yeah, it's clangy. So we got to get it back so that you can hit down into it. Now, obviously, there's limited mobility in your backswing. We already understand that. We're going to try to maximize what you have. You actually have a good swing. There's some side-to-side -side shifting. You see how your head moves? Now that's partly because you're limited in your mobility in your in your neck, and so that's why you know you're trying to generate speed some way, you know, and so that lateral movement is where you go. So I think what I want to try to do is get a little more wrist cock on your backswing, try to set the club a little bit more, hold it more in your fingers, and I'm going to set you up in a little bit of a closed stance meaning your right foot's going to be back of your left and that'll help you turn better get your your body to rotate your hips are pretty mobile so I want you to try to increase that hip turn if you can you see on your backswing you you sort of sway here Rick watch your hips see how they go shifting sideways so your hips really don't rotate they sort of shift yeah and that will help you as well so that's really what I want to do. I want to create more rotation in the backswing by setting up a little close and then focus on rotating your hips a little more instead of letting them sway. Move that ball back a little in your stance.